Hey, Chris Burgess back here with another market update, and we got to talk about what is going on in the stock market right now. Let me go ahead and zoom in on the S&P 500 here, and we'll go ahead and start taking a look at the most recent price action. So I was talking on Tuesday how we went ahead and filled this gap here so we can go ahead and get rid of that uh, that box there. Now we do have one more gap to the downside that has not been filled yet. So definitely looking to fill that if we do continue on downwards. And other than that, we've got a big gap to the upside that also needs to get filled. Let's see if I can draw a target here. I don't know, whatever. Um, so we do have some, uh, some targets to the upside also that we need to get here as well. So we've got a little, uh, little action to either side, I guess I would say, right? A little bit, um, movement to either way that we could get to. So we've got a target down here below, we've got a target up here above, and right now we're kind of just hovering right in between. As you can see, the market has been more bullish today than bearish. So we came down here, we filled this gap um, between those two candles there. And then yesterday we kind of, we opened lower, but uh, ultimately, you know, you can see the wicks there. We tried to go higher, didn't like that, tried to go lower, didn't like that either. Basically just closed right where we opened. And then today, we opened ever so slightly lower, tried to take the market lower, didn't quite work out, and now the market has been going higher. So I do think that uh, just with the start of the year and everything, we are probably pretty likely to go a little bit up from here. So even though I'm still bearish on the market overall, I do think short term we're probably more likely to go up from here than down just in the short term over the next week or two. Uh, heading into next week, I think we're probably likely to see a little bit more bullish action from here, but that, uh, you know, there's no guarantee of that. We'll see if what happens and uh, maybe we'll end up giving away some of the gains here on Friday before we head back into the um, in, into the weekend, into our, our long weekend, I want to say, the, the holiday weekend that we've got coming up here, a three-day weekend here. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll be back on Tuesday with that, but let's go ahead and take a look at the other indexes here real quick. So we've got the Dow Jones, basically a very similar picture here on the Dow Jones, came down, filled this gap here, um, and then uh, have started heading on back up here. So all good there. We do have another gap to the upside here on the Dow Jones that could also use some filling if we do end up making our way back up there. Uh, to the downside, there's not really much of a gap here. I mean, there's there's a closing gap here, but that's not exactly the same thing. Um, so there's not as much of a gap to the downside, although we are, you know, getting fairly close to our uh, our lows here on the Dow Jones, but I don't really expect us to hit that. If we go to the Russell 2000, sorry, I don't expect us to hit it in the next couple of weeks. So we might get there eventually, but not right now. Russell 2000, basically just using this line that I, uh, I've had here for a few weeks now, using that as a support. So you can see we have found support here before in the past, and now we are hitting that level again. And that does appear to be holding. Again, I do think that we are likely to go up rather than down in the short term here. We basically just filled this gap earlier here and uh, we do have another gap left behind that we might need to fill on the Russell 2000 here as well. So will we end up filling this sometime in the next couple of weeks remains to be seen. So we'll have to see what happens from there. Let's go ahead and take a look at tech last of all. So we've got semiconductors here, definitely by far having the worst day today. So you saw pretty much everything else was having a green candle today. Semiconductors definitely opening lower and going even lower throughout the day. So. Uh, having the worst day here so far out of all the indexes that we've checked so far. So the NASDAQ also probably not doing great, although likely to be faring better than semiconductors. Yeah, so as you can see here, yes, we opened a little bit lower, but we've made a little bit more progress on the NASDAQ. We do have a green candle here on the NASDAQ, so that's looking better. Uh, however, um, sorry, I wanted to say, you know, we've got this gap here. We did end up filling that, so that is great. Um, and we filled about half of this gap to the upside here, right? So you can see we, we got about halfway into that box. Um, so we do have a bit of an unfilled gap up here that we might be headed up towards in the next couple of weeks. So that's definitely something to look to, to the upside here. So that is about it for me today with the market update. A little bit of a, a faster one today, but um, it's basically the levels that we're looking at here. Now we are starting the second half of the year. We are starting Q3 today and all of that. So it's important to understand, you know, we've got calendar ranges going on and all of that. Wall Street is uh, basically wanting to 
um, kick things off on a, on a good foot, and that is kind of why we're seeing a lot of buying going on here today. We do have a long weekend, so it is a three-day weekend here going into the July 4th holiday, but I am expecting a little bit more buying into next week, so we'll see what happens, but in the short term, I do expect that we will be going up from here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll be back on Tuesday to confirm whether that is in fact what we did end up seeing or whether things are heading back down next week, but uh, I've given you guys some levels to look out to on either side on the S&P 500 here, we've got an unfilled gap there, and then we've got an unfilled gap to the upside as well. So we've got further to go to the upside if we do start moving up than we do to the downside if we want to fill that gap. But either way, we've got some targets to look out for here, and that is where I'm gonna leave it today. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I hope you also have a great 4th of July, a great holiday weekend. Hopefully you are able to spend some time with friends and family, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have a great weekend.